Have you ever wanted to fight fires in Microsoft Flight Simulator? Well, now is your chance because as of June the 16th, the High Performance Group are going to release their new firefighting aircraft pack. And you can um, basically do all sorts of things with this add-on. As you can see here, we're going to take the 747 Super Tanker, and I love how the livery is exactly the same as the one you've probably seen in YouTube videos before, fighting fires and doing all kinds of crazy maneuvers for such a large aircraft. We are going to fight our own fire in VR, in the Pimax Crystal actually, but I thought I'd just show you some of these liveries you get, which is very nice. Now there is a fair bit to learn with this add-on because it does adopt many of the um, equipment that you'd find in the real super tanker including the pressurized liquid drop system which can be dispersed by fire retardant under high pressure or even dropped at the speed of falling rain um, you can manage all of those systems and even the panel which you'll see later on in the video has been taken from the real aircraft you can also use a King Air 350 as a lead plane and that way you can perhaps uh, direct AI controlled super tankers to drop on their mission target. So you get the idea folks, this is quite an interesting add-on and I think something that would be a lot of fun for a lot of people, especially doing something completely different in this sim. So with that being said, we're now going to fire up the 747 in VR and see if we can put out our own fire today on camera. <laughs> I'll see you in VR in a moment. Okay folks, so welcome aboard the 747 and uh, the first thing that strikes me is how bloody massive this is in VR. <laughs> and before I forget, I'm actually using my 8KX facial interface for my crystal. I'm finding it a lot more comfortable. The field of view is still very, very good. It's slightly uh, less, but not by a massive amount and the comfort is so much better. Anyway. We're now going to fight some fires. So the first thing I want to know is, do these panels work in VR? I'm hoping so. Because I haven't tried this yet. Yep, it looks like everything is all good, although that icon list there is tiny. That is absolutely tiny. Maybe uh, High Performance Group can sort that out a little bit, make it a bit bigger. But if we go, you're not going to see this on the screen, guys, sorry. But if we go to the mission library, and thank God for the Pimax's resolution. <laughs> and wild firefighting. And then we've got an option here to select our radius. It's going to be a small radius and a medium sized fire. We received fire. a new mission from dispatch. Oh, we've got a new mission. And hopefully that's going to uh, be set up now on our uh, map. Right, so the fire is over there somewhere. Now, in case you're wondering where we are, we're actually at Denver International. I've elected not to go to Canada because I thought that would be in bad taste considering my Canadian friends are having a pretty awful time right now with real wildfires. So I just want to reach out to them and send my best. My thoughts and prayers are with you. Please stay safe. Right then, so there's also a panel here for the tanker system. We're definitely going to need that. Um, and there it is. This is pretty cool, isn't it? I'll take that away first. And if, I wonder if I can make it a bit bigger so you guys can see it more. Yes, look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now, of course, in an ideal world, it would be nice to have a console in 3D that has that in the cockpit. So, you know, just a bit of a nitpick there. But considering the price of the add-on, perhaps that's asking too much. But uh, maybe that's something that could be considered in the future. Anyway, I think it's time to take off in the Pimax Crystal in the 747. And by the way, whilst I'm here, frame rate is fantastic, but of course this is a default Asobo model, so I guess that's probably to be expected. And everything is beautifully clear. I nearly say crystal clear, but that was really corny. And yes, this is still my favorite headset. You know, I, I meant what I said, guys. I don't say that kind of thing lightly at all. This is my favorite VR headset right now. Anyway, enough talking. We've got a fire to put out. <laughs> oh, it's great. Oh, look at that. And actually, I can see it over there. Lots of smoke. Now, I wonder if when we drop our liquid all over it, whatever it is, you see I'm very 
knowledgeable on this kind of thing. <laughs> Presume it isn't water, it's probably some sort of special um, formulated the tanker liquid. Is hot. The drop is configured and ready. Okay, thank you very much. Right, so, anyway, <laughs> with my absolute zero knowledge of this kind of thing, I'm going to give this a go. In fact, actually, it looks like the fire has broken out in the fields near that runway. So it's very important not to um, do anything stupid, like, for instance, go over our flat limit. Right then, so we're just going to uh, level out and get prepared for this drop. It's actually quite exciting doing this. It's something completely different for this sim, and I like that. I do like how the High Performance Group are bringing some very interesting experiences to this platform. If you haven't already checked their uh, hot air balloon uh, package out, that's another one that I would definitely recommend. Especially in VR, I can imagine that's really relaxing. <laughs> Not to mention, of course, their helicopter modules. Um, they are absolutely first class. The drop is configured and ready. Okay, this is it, guys. Wish me luck. I'm going to uh, press the button and then we'll go to the outside view and see if anything happens. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Drop valves are open. How do we get on? Closed. Absolutely no idea if we actually hit our target there. Probably not. Great drop. <laughs> oh, we just got a great drop from our engineer. Do you know what? Let's go and do another one. Now, I'm not sure if over time the fire dissipates. I mean, it really should. I'm hoping the that's the case. Is disarmed. Roger that. But we'll go for another pass and see how we get on here. See if we can do a tight turn. There's something very special about flying huge aircraft like this as well. It's very exciting. You never would normally the fly system is hot. an airliner the drop is configured and ready. <laughs> in this way at all. Especially in a motion rig as well. It feels incredible. Here we go then for our second pass. I'm wondering if we're a bit too fast here, but uh, yeah, we are, but never mind. Three, two, one, go. Drop valves are open. That's quite a sight, that. <laughs> valves closed. I'm not entirely sure we did a good job Great that time, job. though. Oh no, hang on, he said great drop again. Fair enough. So yeah, at this point, I don't know whether the fire is supposed to be going out or not. But we do have plenty more, so we will go for a third run and see how we get on here. The tanker system is decided. Yeah, just experiencing an airliner, you know, of this magnitude and flying it around such a low altitude it's quite exhilarating, actually. Although, as I say, keep in mind, I am in a Doff Reality H2 motion rig, which makes the experience so incredible. It really does, as you know. Okay, we'll go for one more drop then. Now, of course, I'm really not doing this uh, add-on justice. This is just a bit of a fun first look video. I'm sure there's plenty of ways you can configure the system. The system is hot to drop more the drop effectively. Is configured and ready. But having said that, we're just having some fun today, folks, with this add-on. Which is out on the 16th of June. Right, here we go then. Three, two, one, go. Drop <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's put out this fire. Thank you very much. Well, 
We've had three very successful drops so far, but I can't really see how the fire is being put out. So I'm not sure about that one, to be honest, but uh, I'll keep doing it, guys, and I'll let you know. I'm just going to uh, do a few more drops, and I'll wind the video on a little bit, and I'll let you know my thoughts the on this package. I do like all of the call-outs. That's very cool. Not so keen on that 2D panel, although I suppose really it's quite useful to have that information right there, but I would like to see a more 3D representation of it, but that's just me being a bit picky. <laughs> the tanker system is hot. The drop I think the is systems. And ready. Oh, look at that. We can see our own shadow there. That's amazing. But yeah, the systems, and of course, everything the way it's modeled is very good. You can have a drop timer system. You can even change the rate of your drop. Very, very cool. But you can see here the fire is still blazing. Maybe I need to be lower. Let's try being really low this time. And three, two, one, go. Drop valves are open. Right through the smoke there. Yeah, I don't think I, I think I was probably a little bit. I was a bit too uh, high before. Great drop. Okay guys, so yeah, welcome back. Um, I keep getting a great drop. I presume that means I'm on target, but it might not, I don't know. But the fire is still blazing. So I'm a little bit confused by that. I presume the tanker system is disarmed. after a while, it will probably get a message to say mission complete or something, but I have got probably one more decent drop and then uh, we'll wrap the video up with my thoughts. Bearing in mind that, you know, I am just uh, messing around with this today so it's not a sort of review as such i'm just sort of trying it out for the first time okay the tanker system is hot the drop is configured and ready i love how all these aircraft are just completely oblivious to the fact that the air feels on fire <laughs> right here we go then pilot drop drop valves are open is it getting less? I, I can't quite tell, is it? Valve's closed. I think it might be, actually. The drop was not successful. Try oh, again. okay. Uh, that's good to know. That time the drop was not successful, so I have been doing it correctly uh, the other times, and I think... I've, you know, I can just see smoke rather than fire now, so I'm not sure whether it is dissipating or not, or whether it's just my imagination. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Maybe the developer the can let me know in the comments below. Disarmed. Right, we've got one more. Tank number five is ready to go. We'll do one more drop, and then we'll definitely wrap this up. Nice and low. Probably should have gone across, actually, but never mind. We'll just uh, go for this now. We're committed. Three, two, one, go. Drop valves are open. We're gonna spray all over that airfield. There we go. Thank you. So again, good drop, but it's still smoking. I guess perhaps that's how it is in real life, really. You're not gonna expect the fire to completely be put out by a couple of passes even in an aircraft like this. Anyway, folks, I think that will do for this little first look video. There's so much more you can do with this package. But uh, as I say, this will be out on the 16th of June by the High Performance Group. I do really like actually how they're bringing more mission-focused events and activities to MSFS. But please let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care, and bye for now. I'm now gonna land, refuel, and see if we can put out this fire.